drivers behind the line in three, two, one, rush. All right, let's take a watch. Match 42. Storm is immediately going for these recycling containers on this landfill. We've seen him do it before. It w wasn't effective. I feel like I'm a Pokemon narrator. All right, drivers taking control. They're looking at a zero, 0 on the board. Right away, Robo Raiders looking to build some stacks at the human player station. Red Alliance seeming to be having a bit, little bit of trouble. The Bambi bots aren't moving much at all. We might say that's a communication issue, but we might say that the Alliance is having some communication issues too. They're really just not lining up with what their different strategies are. We want to see some totes getting placed. We want to see some totes getting stacked, some totes getting picked up. And everyone's kind of moving at their own pace, doing their own thing. And it's not really clear what the end goal is here. All right, so we have the robotic owls looking to move this yellow tote onto the step. That, that could be very effective. And hopefully Bambi bots can follow them with a second yellow tote. So let's just watch that action. If they can get two yellow totes there, maybe one of them goes back and get, gets another. And then I'd love to see the Blue Alliance help them out and finish that, that cooperation stack for 40 points. That would be tremendous. So I'd love to see Robo Raiders get a recycling container on top of that Blue Alliance stack of four because that would just be great. That would turn that from an uh, uh, eight-point stack to a 24-point stack. And, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I identify as fine at math, but that's a big difference. And now we're looking at less than 15 seconds on the clock. And not a lot of scoring opportunities. We have that eight point stack, but I'd like to see a recycling container on top. And not much going on for this Red Alliance, too. One, 